Hello, this is Chaos Blue playing Final Fantasy, and welcome to the Northern Crater. It is time at last to finish this thing. So, you know, let's do that. Um, we are going for a classic party here. Uh, but before I get into anything, there is still one order of business we have yet to complete. Catastrophe. No sweat. And now we have all of the limit breaks! All of them! <laughs> yeah. Um. One silly moment before we get into the serious stuff. So. Here's the setup. Um. I'm not using my ultimate weapons. I'm not going to use them and probably in till the boss of the game because material growth is too good. Um, I have two of, out of three people immune to status effects through Ribbon and Hades. Uh, honestly, actually, rather than a Tetra elemental, I should probably give Barrett here a safety bit because, um, fun fact, one of the few status effects ribbon does not prevent is instant death. Although I think Hades is okay for that. Uh, I guess we'll see. In the materia department, everyone has enemies to of course. Cloud is set up for, um, oh, manipulates is steel. Gotta remember that. Um, the important thing on Cloud actually is Mime and double cut. He is really just set up to kill stuff by attacking. Uh, Barret is not really that big a difference. A whole lot of passive stuff to make him stronger. He has slash all. And he has counter attack. I don't think he actually has cover right now. Uh, oh yeah, and he has W item. That's another important one. Tifa though. Here's the thing. Tifa is really the trump card here. If she dies, we get Phoenix Revival. She has W Summon, so she can cast, well, two summons. She has Hades, so she's immune to stuff. She has Nice of the Round, and of course she has Quadrimagic Bomb at zero. If we run into trouble, she will be getting us out of it. <laughs> Plus, I th her HP is not insanely low. It's still quite low compared to the other characters, but, you know... There's only so much you can do. <laughs> anyway. Down into the crater. Looks like we can only slide down. Alright, let's do it! I'm sure there is a way back up, though. Uh, right, guys? Okay, I'm not actually moving, just, just so you know. Well, if there's a way back up, it's not... It's not the way we came in. Behold, the save crystal! Boy, this thing is dangerous. Um... We'll, we'll go... Oh, by the way, be careful of that one. Uh, in the PlayStation version of this game, but evidently not the PC version, it's one of the items where you can move after you have opened the menu. And if... And... If you leave the screen before you have okayed it, it won't be added. Um, which is kind of odd because I know for a fact it worked di the opposite way for that one item in the Great Glacier, but you know, whatever. Anyway, this thing lets us create a save point at any point, except we need to be really careful with it because there's two or three areas in the North Crater where if we put a save point there, it could create a terrible glitch that causes us to become trapped forever. Which would be bad. And of course, those two the points for that as a problem are mostly all the ones where it would be most useful to have a save point. Okay, so this does go up. Nice to know. Yeah, no, that was just a test. Rockfall. Okay. Oh. And of course it's monsters. Oh right, there's monsters. 
There's actually, like, literally every enemy skill we're missing is here. Uh, that deals no damage. Didn't think it would. Do I have sauce? Not, not many. Hmm. I should have bought more items before I came down here. Okay, what? That didn't even kill it? Okay, yeah, I am officially disappointed. I mean, come on, really? Come on. Uh, oh, hey, that's an enemy skill I wanted. I did not think to check my levels before I came down here. Uh, wait, I didn't get level 4 death? That's not an enemy skill? What the hell, man? What is this bullshit? Oh, well. I'm immune to it, so it's okay. Well, possibly not Barret, but... Well, he is immune to death, so he's still okay. Oh wow, that was really right there. Just just to be clear here, it has been at least two or three weeks since my last uh, recording session. I wanted to do this way sooner, but, well, frankly, it just didn't work out. Um, well, what the hell do I put here now? Ha 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 ha, no. Um, I could, I could long range it, or I could do preemptive. Mm. Hmm. Or I could throw on sense. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, eh, what was that? Yeah, I have room for one more. Do I have No, you already have sense. I don't want two senses. That would just be stupid. Um... Hmm. I could throw another all on Revive, but... No, that would also be kind of lame. Heal? Sure. Makes sense to me. The music in this area is pretty good. And this is definitely not one of those songs where it sticks out in my mind either. It might be difficult to go back up there. Hmm. It's a Dark Dragon! Okay, we can get two enemy skills from this guy. Uh, and one of them actually necessitates using, uh, using Manipulate. How much HP does it have, Barret? Oh, but first, we haven't actually seen Phoenix yet. And that's final attack in a nutshell. It does actually use MP though, so you know, watch out for that. Uh, okay. Well, I need you to be lower than you are. Wait, did I put add attack on sense? Or was that a counter attack? Hmm. Right. Anyway. I do actually need to manipulate you. It also has laser, but I don't think I need laser- oh hey. Awesome. I don't think I need- well, Barrett doesn't have laser. I don't really need it, but as long as I'm here anyway... I suppose I may as well use laser on him. Uh, Dragon Force first, though. I believe that one... Oh, TV doesn't have Cure! I forgot about that! I had to take it off because... Summons. She doesn't even have that many summons. But... Really, it's the, it's the things attached to the summons that necessitated removing Cure. Hmm. Well, that's going to be interesting. Right, so, 
Anyway, Dragon Force. It raises defense and magic defense. It's actually pretty powerful. Because it's not bar it's not barrier, it's a permanent effect, I think. Oh, you ruined it, Barret. Oh well, let's let's kill the dragon. Wait, does Cloud have even more MP now? I did take off MP plus, didn't I? Why is your MP so ridiculously high, Cloud? Oh, I totally left on MP plus. That would explain it. There we go. Okay, next box is a guard source. This reminds me, I totally forgot, I want, had intended to do this on screen, but I totally forgot about it. Um, my intention with all of my sources had been to give them all to Cloud right before I started the Battle Square stuff, but I totally forgot to do that. So instead, I did it off screen right after I finished all of the Battle Square stuff. Because, you know, obviously that's the smartest thing to do, right? Uh, but in any case, I have fed all of my sources to Cloud. Um, and as a result, he is... I mean, Cloud already has the highest stats in pretty much everything by default, but he's considerably stronger now. Um, honestly, this isn't really a great comparison. Uh, it, it is occurring to me. I mean, you can look at his luck, that's obviously higher, but other than that, it's like... Materia makes it sort of a poor comparison. I mean, it was already a poor comparison, because Cloud's stats are naturally higher than anyone else's. Anyway, I think... I think Aerith is better at magic than him, but otherwise, he's pretty much the best at everything. C Casey might have more HP as well. Still, overall. Um... But, but anyway, like some of the things, I had like 10 sources for some attributes. Apparently I had four luck, a apparently I had only four luck sources, but you know, eh. Okay, Barrett actually is a level multiple of four. Good thing I gave him the safety bit. Hmm. Okay. Oh, and incidentally, my current party, I picked this one completely based upon just which characters they felt were most appropriate for coming down here. There is no in there is no mechanical reason for picking the team that I did. Um hmm. Wait. There was a... Oh, I see. I see. Power source! I want to say I had like 10 power sources, but looking at his... Well, maybe. I mean, Cloud has like four different... Yeah, Cloud has four different material on him that he has minus five strength right now and his strength is still whew, way higher than Barrett's so 10 power sources doesn't seem unreasonable oh I can there's material there I can see it how do I get it maybe I don't wait uh, I don't seem to have it, have it on my list, so I probably, d the answer is I prob um, can I, uh, I, I don't want to hit both of them at once.
fine then. Damn, jerks. Bear definitely has the best animation for his all his attack all. Because it actually freaking makes sense. He takes the gun and he does a strafing attack. I mean what does Cloud do? He's he sort of stands back and sweeps his sword where he can couldn't possibly hit anyone. Hmm. Anyway. Okay, so it's not written in my notes. I took fairly extensive notes of what items are where in this area, at least for the important stuff. Um, and I don't have any material listed for this section. I mean, okay, just to qualify that statement I just made, I took way more extensive than usual. Like. If, if it has not yet become clear, usually my notes are pretty subpar. <laughs> like, they're pretty... Often there are pretty bare bones on, info on information. At least with regards to where items are. Um... That is not the case here. I guess I did put Add Attack on the scan. Eh. I guess that makes sense. Uh, what was I saying? I lost my trail of thought. Um, right. But, that same thing is not really the case for this area. I was much more thorough than I have been in the past. Okay, I at least bought lots of, lots of these. But, no sauce. That is weird. Oh, yeah, an elixir. Did I actually use that power source? I did, okay. Um, well, what's over I see a box! But we'll go down a little bit further. Uh, you know, I'm betting these connect, so... Of, of course, backtracking somewhat in the conversation a little bit, backtracking to the source thing, it seems that that 12, difference of 12 in strength only boils down to about... Two to three hundred more damage? Although that is w would be highly dependent on the... Hmm. Wait a second. Uh... 97... Not, uh, well, they have the same attack. I guess the Max Razor is a better weapon uh, than the Ragnarok. I mean, marginally. Hmm. Go figure. I need that box. Oh hey, it's another one of these guys. Don't need dragon magic anymore. So let's just kill them. Very slowly. Is that like a... I mean, no, it can be a counterattack. Neither of those people actually hit him. Yet. I know how much HP you have, but I don't recall if you were weak against anything. You are not. Good to know. You know, Scan should really reveal what they absorb as well. It does in some games, but obviously not Final Fantasy VII. Mind source get. Uh Cure Magic. Get. Uh no! Damn it. Don't scare me like that. Okay, um 
I know for a fact each source is just plus one, incidentally. Uh, what I'm actually curious about is no... I'm sure it still uses it in the background. Well, actually no, I'm not sure. Okay, what I'm looking for there is, I know in older Final Fantasies, like literally all of the 2D ones, actually. I want that box! Maybe I can climb up here. Okay, I can actually. Awesome! The box shall be mine! But, uh, what was it saying, right? In most of the older Final Fantasies, and even some of the newer ones, the way that they scale damage over time, the way they get those nice big numbers by the end, really is because basically they have a multiplier on it. Um, that, uh, for how many times an attack hits. So, and that is mostly tied to a character's level. Although, I think some of the, their... Using this as a reference, the dexterity, or whatever the equivalent to it, might factor in, but mostly it is tied to their level. I know that that's how they do it in a lot of the older Final Fantasies. This also how they do it in some of the newer ones, like, well, Bravely Default isn't technically Final Fantasy, but let's be honest, it, Bravely Default is totally a Final Fantasy game. Um, it just doesn't have the brand name on it, which lets them do fun, cool stuff that actually make for better games. Um, but I digress. I suspect that they have sort of an undercover, under the cover thing for Final Fantasy VII that does something similar to that. But I'm not sure of it. It's hard to it's really hard to say for sure since they don't sh if if it's there they're not upfront about it. Hmm. Then again, there's definitely some weird things going on in the calculations anyway. Like if you look at just the weapon damage, Barrett and Cloud should do exactly the same amount. But Cloud has way more, higher strength than Barrett, and in effect, and that seems to be affecting his actual damage by a factor of about 200 points. Oh, okay. Um, that was weird. Whatever. Oh yeah. Uh, I haven't. I didn't actually say it before now, but. Expect some long episodes. We are right at the end, after all. Oh, okay, I, I guess I'll jump up there. So... Where does this go? Oh, hey, it's a box! A Megaluxer. Awesome. Okay, so, oh, I cannot go that way. Um, I want to go up some more, though. <laughs> Truth be told, I wasn't expecting to fall down like that. Okay, counterattack does not hit everyone. Good to know. I wasn't really expecting it to, to be honest. Oh hey, I got I got myself an Omni Slash. That's going to be fun in a minute. You know, it occurs to me. Final Fantasy VII doesn't have any, um... How would you say it? There's there's no boss rush in this game. Like, I mean, there is sort of. The final, the final boss is your typical multi-stage boss encounter. But, can I, like, jump? Nope. Apparently not. That is disappointing. No, don't do that. I guess... Can I, uh... Okay, uh, what? There we go. Let's go in here first. Before before we potentially fall down even further. I want that box. So badly. Okay, so... There's like a drop spot over here, probably. Um, but yeah, 
there's no se boss sequence. Which seems kind of disappointing, to tell the truth. You know, lesser genre slash. Let's do it! Yeah! If we had maxed out strength, this would deal 90... This would deal max damage in each hit. Obviously we don't! Um, yeah. Omni Slash is potentially the strongest attack in the game, but functionally, unless you've done some mad grinding, it's gonna be... Nice of the round is gonna outdamage it. Uh, that coalition being because... Omni Slash hits more. Uh, than Nice of the Round. <laughs> Although, having said that, I suppose if you're hitting multiple targets, Nice of the Round would still be better. Hmm. Something to consider. There, anyway. Uh, nope. Okay, well, it's worth checking. Uh, right. So. Endgame boss. If you look at fo even Final Fantasy VIII, which was made, really, it's like just a year or two after this, there's like eight bosses in the final dungeon before you get to the final boss. And not counting the optional super boss. In Final Fantasy, in Final Fantasy VI before this, you you need to go into the final dungeon in three different parties, and each party fights like three or four bosses. Oh hey. Uh, what are you- okay. Hmm. Phone Fans 5 had- I don't even know how many bosses there are. Oh. Uh, huh. I'll admit, I was not expecting that. Congratulations, sir! You have caught me off guard. I wonder if you can destroy the top half, but leave the feet behind as well. Hmm, excuse me. Uh... Okay, I must have gone shopping because I have 70 potions. I mean, I know I went shopping because I, I bought the Hypers and Phoenix Downs and stuff. But, I don't know, maybe I just picked a poor location because obviously I didn't buy softs. And I really should have. Well, I have a lot of remedies at least, that's something. But oh hey, would you look at that? And a box. I bet this goes back up. I was correct, but I don't actually need to go all the way back up. I just want the box. I will say though, complaints about the final the uh, lack of a boss sequence, notwithstanding. Because I mean seriously, even Final Fantasy One, you fought the four fiends. Anyway, complaints notwithstanding, I do still think this is a pretty interesting dungeon. If only for the final dungeon. If only for the sheer variety of things. Uh, in any case, on that note, we've hit half an hour, so I think this is a good time to stop off. Uh, especially if we're right before the area, I think we are. So, you know, hopefully I've timed that well. Uh, in any case, until next time, when we return to take on the next set of the final dungeon, the Northern Crater. This has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VII with Chaos Blue, and have a great day. Bye!